In the previous video, I showed you how to calculate the CP, the process capability, which uh, is used to measure the performance of a process. Now, if you can see here, 50, 47.5 to is the uh, is the mid is the middle value of uh, uh, my specification limits, which is which indicates that I'm expecting that the average students will finish uh, at 47.5 minutes. However, my data shows that they they finished the exam. The average student finished the exam at 47.66 minutes. So it's not 100% centered. It's it is a little bit off-center to the light, right? So when the process is not centered, then there are, um, another equation is used to calculate the uh, process capability. I'm going to bring that equation here. So you can't calculate directly. So you have to calculate based on, because the process is now not centered anymore, it is uh, shifted. So you have to calculate based on the lower and upper spec limits separately and after that what you have to do is take the minimum of uh, the two measures that you calculate like that so it's not copying the way i want so basically the process capability in the end is going to be the um, minimum of cpu uh, and uh, CPL so that's what you do now what is happening here let me show you that drawing uh, uh, right here so you have the process um, like this normal distribution like that so this like then so this is the mean my my the control so if I so my spec spec, spec or my expectation is 47.5 uh, uh, however uh, my data is is a little bit uh, my mean from the data is somewhere here a little bit higher so that point is uh, 47 point six like that so a little bit off center so this is what i'm running so what you do in this case you use this uh, lower uh, spec uh, limit and i might use my test pen to use a little bit better easy to work on that uh, so here is the my upper spec limit so you have to calculate how far is it from this upper spec limit and how far is it from the lower spec limit as you can see using uh, this formulas and this formulas and then you take the minimum of those to be in conservative side uh, all right so let's calculate that uh, i'm gonna basically wipe out those you can always go back to the video to see. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it's crashing because of too much going back with this drawing. Let's see what I get after it crashed. My God, it's crashed everything to this. Uh, let's see, open my file again, go back, courses, spring, uh, quality, lots of video, control charts, so, let's see, all right, so there we am, I lost all those formulas and everything, but that's okay, uh, let's copy the formula again so what i'm gonna do is cp you can go back to the uh, video to see the formula again so this one and then uh, this formula right there and the minimum of that too is the cp now let's calculate that so that's cp uh, cp u based on the upper spec limit which is the equal um, the uh, upper spec limit minus the x bar which is the grand mean this one close the parenthesis divide by uh, three sigma 
um, sigma is this one so that's CPEU and then CPL that is calculated based on the lower spec limit equals let's say the mean use the parenthesis mean minus this one close the parenthesis divide by 3 divide by sigma 3 sigma like that so this is the process now if you the now cpk is the uh, minimum of these two so you're gonna write equals mean of these two is the cpk uh, shouldn't be zero not sure why it is doing that should be minimum of these two numbers what's wrong with that let's type here mean of this two uh, I don't know what happened to this cell let's type it again mean of this two it's working now I don't know what happened before anyway so that's the CPK now as you can see because this process is not centered now this is my process capability so I'm running at 1.3 I went a little bit less than you know that um, this now because the exam was assigned now realistically the exam was assigned for 50 minutes so realistically it is better to go about say seven minutes um, more and seven minutes less so let's make it say 55 and this one makes seven minutes less which one is basically 43 so if i give throw this realistic number as you can see the cp value which is um this one is is still good it's still close to 1.3 so I'm, I'm doing better now now if you look at this one which is now i'm incapable uh, so i'm not even meeting this standard uh, so the value one um capable the value one indicate that i'm just meeting the uh, requirement one means the spec limit is equal to the six sigma standard so it means like i'm just meeting the requirement more than one better but as you can see now i'm not even meeting that requirement so when the process is off-centered like this one in this case you can see the mean i expected that the test was written for 50 minutes everybody should uh, finish on average 50 minutes but my data shows that is 47.66 minutes so it's a little bit off center to the left so when is when the process is off center then you use cpk not cp in the next video will show you if the process is crazy not out of control at all constantly changing its value you cannot have a defined sigma value uh, in that case what do you do uh, we'll see that in the next video.